In this video of 10,000 Reasons, we are going to play the chords in root position and we are going to create an introduction. Let's write in some letters. Okay. To create an introduction for this song, 10,000 Reasons, we are going to figure out what the melody notes are and we are going to write the letters over the words. A E, okay. D, D, E, D, D, E, D, C, A, Okay, actually this makes a great introduction. So we're gonna go like this. E. Okay, right here, I'm gonna circle this G because that was my intro. I played the melody line with my right hand. I was doing some simple arpeggios with the left. Okay, so let me play that intro again. E, G. Now let's take this arpeggio style and use it for the whole song. This is probably the easiest way to play this arpeggio. The finger pattern is 5-3-1 in the left hand and 1-3-5 in the right hand. You are not tied down to any specific rhythm. Just play your fingers one at a time. 5-3-1 in the left hand and 1-3-5 in the right hand as fast or as slow as you want. Why play the chords in root position? When I was in college studying music theory, we began by learning how to build the chords from the bottom up in root position. It's the natural progression of learning your chords. In education, we call it scaffolding. Start with the root position and then inversions will make sense. If you're starting to learn your chords and you play your chords in root position, it's easier to find your chords because you're looking at the notes and the name of the chord, the note is on the bottom. F, A, C, C, E, G, G, A. So very important to memorize the letters of the white keys so that you can find your chords easily. Chords are built by intervals. So a major chord sounds like this because the interval is a major third and then a minor third. If we flip the intervals and put a minor third here and a major third here, now it's a minor chord. Major, minor. We just switched the intervals around. So you can play 10,000 Reasons with a simple arpeggio. It says C over G, but I'm just gonna play the C chord. And I'm just gonna go like that, okay? And for the F chord, I'm gonna go like that. G chord.
I've had adult learners say to me, how do I know when to move my fingers? For me, the best explanation is this. Do you ever tap rhythms with your fingers? Finding your rhythm on the piano is like tapping your fingers. You're going to keep your fingers on the outline of the chord and then you just feel the rhythm of the song and you just play along. position chord and I'm tapping my fingers. I've also likened it to dancing. When you feel the music and you are moving to the rhythm that you hear, it's the same thing with your fingers. You've heard the song before. You're playing the song. Just move your fingers, outlining the notes in the root position chord, and just move your fingers. It's kind of like your fingers are dancing. As long as you have your fingers on the correct notes, it's going to sound good. Let's play the song. Ten thousand reasons for 